the most famous paintings of Rembrandt van Rijn. In this video, we will see Rembrandt's most famous paintings. The most famous Baroque artist from the Netherlands in the entire history of art. The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Nicolaes Tulp. Artwork by Rembrandt van Rijn from the year 1632. Dr. Nicolaes Tulp shows his colleagues how the tendons in the arm of a certain Adrian Adrian Zun, 41, hanged that same day for stealing a tunic at gunpoint. Rembrandt would be in charge of immortalizing the criminal, who would go down in history as the protagonist of one of the most famous paintings in the history of art. Tulp, the city's official anatomist, only allowed one public dissection a year, so these types of events became true shows that almost bordered on variety theater. In fact, these anatomy lessons used to be held in theaters, attended by students, colleagues and the general public, in exchange for paying a ticket. Along with Tulp, the surgeons Jacob Block, Hartman Hartman Soon, Adrain Slabran, Jacob DeWitt, Mathages Kalkeen, Jacob Kulvelt and Franz van Lonen are represented. Not that they were eminences. We know their names from the list that one of them has in his hand and they were the ones who paid this young 26-year-old Dutch artist to make a group portrait, such as a current photograph of a company dinner or a football team. Those of you who know something about anatomy should applaud the accuracy with which Rembrandt depicts muscles and tendons. We know that the artist knew his talent well and modesty was not one of his peculiarities. The Night Watch Artwork by Rembrandt van Rijn from the year 1642. For centuries it was thought that the night watch was logically at night. Well no. The original title of the painting was the military company of Captain Franz Banningcock and Lieutenant Willem van Rittenberg, but let us recognize that it was not a very catchy title, which is why since the 19th century it became popularly known by the charismatic name of Night Watch. Since then we have known this masterpiece like this, even after its restoration had shown that the darkness was due to the oxidation of the varnish and the accumulated dirt, and that the action takes place in broad daylight, although the characters are in a dark portal. These very Baroque types are a military command that, in addition to keeping an eye on order in that city of sin that was Amsterdam, was in charge of protecting the visit of the French Queen Mother to the capital. His work must have been incredible, because the size of the painting is impressive. We know that each member of the company paid Rembrandt a good deal to appear in the painting, and not all of them were happy, since some of them are hardly seen. Rembrandt was only interested in an interesting composition, going for military hierarchies and realism in faces. Perhaps that is why some children and a dog appear among the soldiers, which enliven the scene quite a bit. A perfect example of the so-called golden age of Dutch art, in the night watch we see a carefully chaotic composition, with axes in various directions. Rembrandt escapes the typical to show the dynamism and tension of a group of soldiers about to begin their mission. He hated boring corporate portraits more than anything, so he decided to give it a twist, achieving not only originality, but also an evident dramatic and plastic expressiveness. The Baroque was an avant-garde at the time, chiaroscuro, movement, contrasts, drama, and Rembrandt became one of its greatest exponents when he was 34 years old. Self-Portrait with Two Circles Artwork by Rembrandt van Rijn, from the year 1669. Rembrandt is one of the artists who painted himself the most times. Approximately 40 self-portraits, which make us think that the artist had a fairly marked ego, or perhaps he wanted to leave a kind of introspective and personal diary. Thanks to this, we can trace his physical evolution through the years, from the talented young man to the old man back from everything, all of them with enormous psychological depth. Here we see him when he was about 60 years old, it is his last self-portrait before he died, and he represents himself in work clothes with his tools in hand while he stares at us. These were difficult times for Rembrandt. The economic setbacks had destroyed his social position and he would die soon after, bankrupt. Two things stand out in this magnificent canvas, that some areas are unfinished and that loose brushstroke. 
That coarseness of the late Rembrandt's brushwork is characteristic of his last years, and we know that the author himself advised his visitors not to observe his works too closely. Everyone agrees that the enigmatic circles in the background could possibly be a world map, something very common in Dutch houses at that time when that nation dominated a commercial empire. A Woman Bathing in a Stream Artwork by Rembrandt van Rijn, from the year 1654. The model is probably Hendrik Stoffels, who lived in Rembrandt's house until the painter's death and who acted as a servant and something like a wife. Although the marriage was valid for legal purposes, Rembrandt would not marry Henrich so as not to jeopardize the inheritance of Titus, son, from his previous marriage. Together, they would have another daughter. Perhaps a sketch of a religious or mythological image or perhaps something as treated in art history as the theme of bathers, or how to paint women in a moment of intimate hygiene. The fact is that it is a work that surprises for its quality and its freshness and its evident voyeuristic eroticism, with the subject of the wet fabrics and attached to the body that we are spying on without compassion. With an unusually spontaneous finish for a Baroque painting, it even looks like an unfinished work were it not for the fact that the proud artist considers it finished by signing and dating it. Something typical of Rembrandt is the extraordinary use of light, which manages to penetrate the shadows of the scene, giving everything a palpable atmosphere, while at the same time almost dreamlike. The Parable of the Rich Fool Artwork by Rembrandt van Rijn, from the year 1627. The parable of the rich fool, or the rich fool, was told by Jesus to his colleagues according to the Gospel of Luke, 12:13. J.C., in his hippie proto-Marxist philosophy, wanted to make us understand the mistake of giving too much importance to wealth, because it is nothing more than simple greed, and in the long run it is of absolutely no use. In the parable, a rich man had reaped many goods. But instead of enjoying them, the asshole thought of keeping them safe, because they were his and nothing more than his. So, instead of sharing them with his neighbors, the millionaire had to tear down his barns and build bigger ones. Inside his brilliant and enterprising mind, it seemed like a good idea, because once all his shit was stored in his mega-storage complexes, he could dedicate himself to living the father life. What happened? Well, God told him, fool, tonight he comes to ask for your soul, and what you have saved, whose will it be? The idiot died that same night. How rich is that guy? They do not realize that the stomachs of the poor are much safer storehouses than their granaries. Rembrandt, in addition to illustrating the parable, to show that in matters of illumination he was light years away, the fool will disappear surrounded by his riches in the shadows. Only with the light of that candle can we see him counting coins. What happiness! But really, he's lonely and old like one of those fucking millionaires who now go to space on dick-shaped rockets. Incidentally, it is said that Rembrandt's model for the old man was his father. That was all for today's video, tell us what you thought, and if you liked it, please give us your subscription and your like, this way you support the art community on YouTube. Until the next video, have a nice day.